Now that we've completed our first calculation, it's time to explore the results in RFM6. You'll find internal forces, deformations, and support forces displayed both in tables and graphically on the model. Let's begin with the graphical results. These results are depicted in vibrant colors on the model, making it easy to visualize things like member deformations and support forces. On the left in the navigator, you can select the analysis type from the list. The available results are listed in a tree structure. You can click on the desired result to view it in the work window. Beyond deformations, you'll also have access to internal forces, stresses, strains, and support reactions. In the lower part of the navigator, you can customize the display type. In addition to the graphical output, result tables are available. In addition to the graphical output, result tables are available. You can select them from the list as shown here. The first result table provides a summarized overview, including the equilibrium of forces on the system and maximum deformations. Information about the calculation process is also included. You can filter the result tables by specific criteria such as extreme values or design locations. The overview table result category offers a summary of the calculations. You can switch between the results of load cases and combinations in the table title bar. More result categories can be found by expanding the list or using the arrows. The numerical and nodal results can be found in the results by node. This is another table category. If nodal supports are available, they can also be found in the respective tab. The results by member table category provides an overview of the numerical re member results. You can switch between result types at any time using the table, using the tabs in the lower part of the tables. The result tables use a color to indicate whether internal forces are positive or negative in their relation to the extreme values. The graphics also use color to represent positive or negative internal forces and you can customize these colors if needed. One particularly useful feature is the real-time interaction between the tables and the work window. Click on an element in the graphic and the table will jump to the results for that specific element. And vice versa. An arrow will indicate the location on the element, ensuring an efficient workflow. If necessary, you can deactivate this feature. In addition to tables, RFM provides the option to view result diagrams of selected members. To use this function, select the desired member and click the result diagrams from selected members button. This function features a dialog box that aligns with the RFM user interface. You can select the analysis type, results category, and load combination using the lists. As usual, you'll choose the desired results in the left navigator to display them graphically in the middle, as well as in the tables on the right. Now you have a comprehensive understanding of RFM results. In our next video, we'll learn how to export and include them in a printout report. But before that, 
we'll delve into the design process. Until next time, happy modeling.